Are you struggling to make your Facebook ads work for your business? Well, you're not alone. Many businesses fail to get results because they set up their campaigns in the most basic way possible. But fear not, because today we're gonna to show you how to optimize your Facebook ads and make them work for you like never before. Like a boss. Facebook ads offer a powerful way to reach your target audience with advanced targeting options and diverse ad formats. But with many businesses competing for attention, it's important to set up your campaigns in the right way. In this video, we'll show you how to set up multiple audiences or ad sets as they're known in Facebook, test different ads, and optimize your campaign to maximize your results. So get ready, buckle your seatbelts. We're gonna take care of your Facebook ads to the next So buckle your seatbelts and get ready to take your Facebook advertising to the next level. Let's dive in. So first of all, why Facebook? What is so special about this rather annoying social media platform that most people spend far too much time on? Well, here's just a few of my top reasons. Wide reach. As mentioned earlier, Facebook has over 2.8 billion, with a B, active users. This presents a huge opportunity for business to reach a large and diverse audience. With Facebook ads, you can target users based on their age, gender, location, interest, behaviors, and much more. This allows you to create highly targeted ads that are more likely to resonate with your target audience. Secondly, it's cost effective. Compared to traditional advertising methods such as television, radio, or print, Facebook ads are relatively cost effective. You can set a budget for your ad campaign and only pay for clicks or impressions uh, or even conversions. Additionally, Facebook's bidding system ensures that you get the best value for your money by competing with other advertisers for ad space. Next, it's easily measurable. With Facebook ads, you can track the performance in real time of your ads. This allows you to see how many people saw your ad, how many people clicked on it, how many people converted into a paying customer. Facebook also provides a range of metrics that can help you understand the effectiveness of your ads and optimize them for a better performance moving forward. It's mobile friendly. As more people use their mobile devices to access the internet, it's more important than ever for businesses to have mobile friendly ads. Facebook ads platform is optimized for mobile devices, ensuring that your ads look great and are easy to interact with on smartphones or tablets. Retargeting. One of the most powerful features of Facebook ads is retargeting. This allows you to show ads to people who've already interacted with your business, such as visiting your website, adding items to their cart, but not making a purchase. Retargeting helps keep your brand top of mind and it increase the likelihood of a conversion. Here's some useful stats about Facebook advertising. The average cost per click or CPC for Facebook ads across all industries is $1.72. Facebook ads have an average conversion rate of 9.2%. Facebook has a 19.5% share of global advertising market. The average Facebook user clicks on 11 ads per month. 93% of social media advertisers use Facebook ads. Ads. Facebook ads offer a powerful way for businesses to reach their target audience. With wide reach, cost effectiveness, real-time measurement, mobile friendliness, and retargeting capabilities, with the platform's advanced targeting options and diverse ad formats, businesses can create highly engaging ads that resonate with their target audience. And as the statistics show, Facebook advertising can be a highly effective way to generate leads, and conversions. Now that I've made Facebook ads sound more awesome than a unicorn riding a rainbow in the summer, let's talk about why some people fail when running Facebook ads. The main reason I see when looking at my clients' Facebook accounts that are not doing that well is that they have just set the campaign up in the most basic way possible. They have a campaign, and in that campaign, they have one audience or ad set that they're targeting with just one ad just one ad being shown to that audience, trying to get the results that they want. Now, what's the problem with this? Well, I like to think about Facebook advertising as a game of hunting for audiences. And what we've found after eight years of advertising on Facebook and spending over 30 million pounds on the platform is that only four in every 10 audiences are actually gonna work for your business. So imagine these 10 heads on your screen right now represent the 10 audiences we're targeting and the green ones are the four winning audiences. Let's say I've got a hundred pounds a day budget that I'm gonna target these audiences with. 
Now, if I target just one audience at a time and I find out it's a loser, I've lost. So I may go on to the next audience and test that, another loser. Then the third audience, another loser. So after three days and 300 pounds, what do I do? I give up. I blame Facebook and I tell everyone it's rubbish and it doesn't work. But the reality is I've just been going about Facebook advertising all wrong. I set it up in the wrong way. Just quickly take a look at how I would set it up in the right way using this example that we've already used before. Now we'll go into this in a lot more detail later. I'll actually bring up some slides and show you this in a lot more depth. So you've got the same 10 audiences. We're still going to have a budget of 100 pounds a day, but instead of spending 100 pounds a day on each audience one day at a time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split my budget across four different audiences, 25 pound a day each. 25 pound a day on audience one, audience two, 25 pound a day on audience three, and audience four, which we now know is a winning audience from day one. I can clearly see that I have one winning audience. So what do I do? I turn off audiences two and three and then go on the hunt for another free audiences. I keep my winning audience on 25 pound a day and I go on the hunt again. I now test uh, 25 pound on audience five and audience six and audience seven. And again, I've found a winning audience. What do I do? I keep my winning audiences on, turn off the losing audience, and I go on the hunt again. And then again, I find another winner, and so on and so on. And that's how you optimize a campaign, because the results of this campaign are, I've spent the same amount of money, but I have now found a load of winning audiences in a shorter period of time. And that's the secret. So let's now go on and take a look at my slides so that I can actually visually show you how this works and how you can set it up. Again, what we're going to do here is our way of doing it right. This is the advanced way of setting it up. Actually, this isn't even advanced. We just advertise like this as a basic level. This is having just a basic campaign setup should be. Obviously, lots of our campaigns that we're running have 20, 30, 40 different audiences in at any one time. But basically, what we have here is a basic setup and it's going to target at least four audiences or ad sets at the same time. And then within each of those ad sets, we're going to test multiple ads, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're going to break this down for you so that you can see not only the different audiences that you should be targeting, but also the different ads too. Okay, hopefully, it's going to be really, really useful for you later on down the line. So let's break this down. Audiences first, or ad sets as they're known in Facebook ads. Ad set one, if I could give you some sort of broad understanding of what this one should be, I would call this a broad interest-based audience where you target, for example, all sexes between the ages of 25 and 45 interested in something, keyword. This is where you would actually put your keyword in there, coaching, business, marketing, whatever. Ad set number two would again be a broad audience, a broad book or public figure audience, I'd call this one. These are great. Books are a fantastic way to identify your audience, right? They say a lot about the people, the books that they read. For example, this one might be all sexes between the ages of 24 and 45 in the UK or the US, who like the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and follow Tony Robbins, for example. Because those two things sort of, you know, say a lot about people. Ad set number three would be a custom audience, basically a retargeting list, a retargeted audience of people who have engaged with you on Facebook and or content on Facebook. Watching a video, for example, is a really good audience to test. And then ad set number four would be a lookalike audience. A lookalike audience of visitors who have visited your site, people that look like those people, people that look like people who have engaged with your existing content on Facebook. Or again, a lookalike audience of your existing leads or customers. A lookalike audience of some, uh, some sort should be tested for ad set four. Now let's move on to ads. 
the four different variations of ads that you should have are going to look something like this. Now, what I've tried to do is categorize the different types of ads that we use. The beautiful thing about Facebook is you don't need video. Images still to this day outperform video by a lot in some instances, not always, but sometimes. They're a great way to advertise quickly without worrying about who's gonna be on video or having the skills to get on video. Ad number one, I would call a positioning or consultative image. Like the image that you see here is me on stage with Stephen Bartlett from Dragon's Den, which is a big show over here in the UK. When I interviewed him at our big event that we hold every single year in the UK called the Entrepreneur's Marketing Conference. Ad number two, if I could categorize it, would be family or fun image. Now this is basically a real image. The reason why these work really, really well is that it's the type of content people are used to seeing on Facebook. When they're on Facebook, they're used to seeing pictures of families, for example, pets and things like that. So it does a really good job of stopping the scroll, which is one of the hardest things to do in Facebook advertising, is to just stop somebody scrolling. So one of the best performing images that I ever used was a picture of my dog, Bruno. He's got one ear up in the air and I was in the picture with him, literally, just a picture of my dog. It went down really, really well for our agency service, believe it or not. Worked fantastic because it stopped the scroll. Ad number three, I would categorize ad as, a as a designed image. <laughs> Bit of a tongue twister there. I would categorize as a designed image. It's got lots of text in it, maybe an image or something like that in there that stands out from the Facebook feed. This one, again, as you can see on your screen, we use for a product launch. We launched ourselves a couple of years back. This massively uplifted our sales and it was one of the best performing ads that we did. You can see here, 75% flash sale. The reason it did so well was because it's loud. It has got language in it that human beings are used to seeing and paying attention to. Sale, 70% off, offer. All of these words human beings are drawn to and it works really, really well. And ad number four, if you can, I would use video. Because again, video, if you can do it, would work really, really well. So if you can do video, then definitely test running one. Now that you understand what different types of audiences and ads that you can use, in this advanced Facebook ad structure. Now let's talk about how we optimize the campaign. So literally, after day one, you're gonna start seeing some data come through. And basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at any ad sets or ads that are not getting you the desired cost per lead or cost per acquisition that you're looking for. Over time, you're just going to slowly turn these off. A couple of really good tips is that at the ad level, the main thing that you need to look for is click-through rate. If your click-through rate isn't getting a click-through rate or CTR of at least 1%, you probably need to optimize the actual ad itself. You can do things like change the image or the video. That's gonna have the biggest effect. It's because it's just not stopping the scroll. Nobody's seeing it. Change the headline next or the copy of the ad. Check the messaging, the hook or the angle of the ad. And remember that there is a three-step process to ads on Facebook that stop the scroll, get them to read the copy, and then get them to click. If the audience isn't working, if the audiences aren't giving you the desired CPL or CPA, cost per lead, cost per acquisition, then turn those off as you go. If everything is working well, then obviously you wanna be replacing the audiences that you've turned off with new ones. You've got to be on the hunt for new audiences all the time and also your winners, the ones that are winning. You want to be scaling them up daily. You can start to scale by as much as 20% a day. Now there are so many scaling strategies out there and I'll probably do a video just dedicated to different scaling strategies on Facebook that are out there. But rule of thumb, basic one for you to do to start is just to start nudging them up 20% a day. And as long as those numbers are holding, you're gonna have a winning campaign. So effectively, if you look on the screen right now, you'll see on day one, your campaign should look like this. And by day seven, your campaign should look like this. You've got a couple of winning ad sets or audiences. You know that the ads within them are doing really, really well. That money that you're spending is now getting even better results. This is what we call starving the ponies, 
and feeding the stallions. Well, there you have it. You now know how to optimize your Facebook ads to make them work for you like never before. It's time to take your advertising to the next level and start seeing some real results. But before we go, let's recap some of the key points that we've covered in this video. First, Facebook ads offer a wide reach, they're cost-effective, measurable, mobile-friendly, and have powerful retargeting capabilities. Secondly, when it comes to setting up your campaigns, it's important that you test multiple audiences or ad sets, as well as different ads to find winning combinations. And finally, remember to constantly optimize your campaign by turning off underperforming ad sets and scaling up your winners. Starving the ponies, feeding the stallions. If you found this video useful, then please like and subscribe to our channel for more great content like this. Hit the bell to be notified every time we post a new video, which is twice a week, by the way. And if you have any questions of any sort, just share them in the comments below, and I promise I'll get back to you. And on a final note, if you're still struggling with Facebook ads, don't give up. Remember, even the best marketers had to start somewhere. Keep testing, keep learning, and keep optimizing. Who knows, maybe one day you'll be running Facebook ads like a boss. My name's Matt Wilson. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.